Hello, this is Nicole, aka Boss Lady, and we're here on Forza, Texas. I'm here today at the memorial of the 13 soldiers who lost their lives on November the 5th, 2009. And I wanted to share this moment with you and to bring you up here with me to show my respects. And Some had long careers in the military. Some have signed up to serve in the shadow of 9-11. Some have known intense combat in Iraq and Afghanistan, and some cared for those who did it. Their lives speak to the strength, the dignity, the decency of those who serve. And that's how they will be remembered. For that same spirit is embodied in the community here at Fort Hood and in the many wounded who are still recovering. As was already mentioned, in those terrible minutes during the attack, soldiers made makeshift tourniquets out of their clothes. They braved gunfire to reach the wounded and ferried them back to safety in the backs of cars and a pickup truck. One young soldier, Amber Barr, was so intent on helping others, she did not realize for some time that she herself had been shot in the back. Two police officers, Mark Todd and Kim Mullen, saved countless lives by risking their own. One medic, Francisco de la Serna, treated both Officer Mullen and the gunman who shot him. It may be hard to comprehend the twisted logic that led to this tragedy, but this much we do know. No faith justifies these murderous and craven acts. No just and loving God looks upon them with favor. For what he has done, we know that the killer will be met with justice in this world and the next. These are trying times for our country. In Afghanistan and Pakistan, the same extremists who killed nearly 3,000 Americans continue to endanger America, our allies and innocent Afghans and Pakistanis. In Iraq, we're working to bring a war.